Hello everybody, my name is Promise and welcome back to RimWorld Call of Cthulhu in... What was this called again? Deepwater Bog, that's right. You don't really need to know the name of your own colony very often, do you? Kinda sad, really, but here we are in the Deepwater Bog with the Children of the Deep and the freaking what is it called? Oculi Eterna Cult! That's, that's what it was. I remember now. So, we have uh, made some pretty good progress, I think, in terms of just building up more sustainability for our food production, for our storage needs. Things have improved rather dramatically. We are growing some cash crops that I can use to start making some more reliable silver. We are doing art. We're doing all sorts of wonderful things. I think we continue building on that unless the game throws me a curveball. Which it often does like to do. One of the first things I'm going to do is go ahead and start expanding out some more of the base over here. We can add in another room of some sort if we want. Or maybe we want to go ahead and expand out the production facility. Which would not be a bad idea, I think, because there's more stuff we could certainly be producing. Okay, we should be arriving momentarily. There's the dot aligning with the village, and boom, we have arrived. Okay, so let's see if we can conduct another trade. What do you got? Uh, let's see, you got some various types of food, you got some milk, goose eggs, I can't use, some more components, okay, cloth, blah blah blah, we don't need any of the plain leather, I could take your plasteel, you got 60 of that, that's not so bad, and that is harder for me to make, though I am able to fabricate it myself now, okay, let's try for that, and I don't think you have really anything else I would want, and that's not surprising, given that you are a, uh, a tribe, Tribes don't exactly have the best technology, so there we go. Um, let's try getting over to Spoondale. We're going to give them a little visit over here, and then we'll head back home. Of course, now that it's getting really cold outside, I'm starting to feel a little bit worried about our people who are uh, traversing the overworld over here. England Smarty, you guys going to be okay? I assume that your Parkinson stuff will keep you going. It doesn't seem to tell you what the temperature is outside uh, when you are traveling on the world. I'm not even sure how much it affects your movement speed and stuff, does it say? Oh, it does, actually. Winter does slow you down. Interesting. Still, um, yeah, we probably should get these guys home as soon as possible, just to avoid any nastiness. I have finished making some assault rifles, by the way, so we should be able to get everyone properly equipped with assault rifles now. Which means we no longer are using any of these heavy SMGs. So we may hold on to them for like just some temporary, you know, weapons if we need them and have a new colonist. But overall, that does mean that our armaments have greatly improved and everyone is truly ready for war. Now that said, Angle's caravan has actually just been ambushed by man-hunting hares. Two of them. Oh, no, whatever shall we do? Okay, everyone protect the Gigantelope. I mean, we got Smarty on our side. I'm pretty confident we are going to obliterate these stupid things. Well, Angle's a bad shot, but it looks like Smarty can handle it. There we go. And we move on. Okay, trading with the, uh, the fishing village again. Anything really exciting? Well, not seeing much here. Um, you don't have a lot of silver either, unfortunately. No, these guys have nothing, I don't think. Nothing that I really want, except for maybe the advanced bionic hand. That could be helpful. Um, but am I really willing to go and trade for that? I don't, I don't think I am, actually. Nope. These guys have nothing. Okay. Well, we have an herbal supplier caravan coming by. That could be nice. And also a solar flare just fired, which means it's going to get extremely cold in the base, and I'm probably going to lose a whole bunch of my plants. Ah. Why, Lovecraft, do you insist on doing solar uh, flares when it's so stinking cold outside? Well, Zeldas is our only reasonably decent social interactor right now, so we're going to go ahead and have her trade with Wombat and see if there's anything you guys would like to buy, like a frick ton of chem fuel. Would you like a frick ton of chem fuel? Because that's what I've got. Oh, goody, terrifying mist. Okay, yeah, we've seen this before. Mist from beyond. Uh-huh, uh-huh, this is we're going to have weird specters wandering around. Oh, there's a giant one, too! A mist stalker. This one actually seems dangerous. Something floating in the mist. Doesn't say outright that it is dangerous. They're all called mist stalkers. I'm just seeing this one being big and thinking immediately, that looks like a threat. You can see that they're actually all following the caravan around, which is even more ominous. They're not attacking them, though. I think they exist just to give you the spooks. Hmm. Another quest to keep some special animals. Two mycoid colossus. I don't even know what these are, but it's worth... A whopping eight royal favor, and we have pretty decent animal handlers, so I think this is an easy one for me to take. And let's go ahead and accept it with Zealotus, because this should definitely make her into a yeoman once it is complete. Where are the giant mycoids? 
Up over here? Oh my freaking god! What are these? Pom pom! Pom pom? Okay. Mycoid Colossus is a variant of the overgrown Colossus relative to mycotic jungle. Reptilian in nature, with cold blood, a slow metabolism, and a very weird body plan. Six legs, two intertwined spines, and six eyes. It's a giant mung uh, uh, fungus reptile? Okay. Wow. Alright. The awesome thing about these guys is we can occasionally trim them to get some free agarlix mushrooms, whatever those are. Uh, I imagine these guys need a lot of food every day, though. Jeez, okay. Well, taking care of this may actually be a bit of a pain, but if we can't handle Pom Pom and Ozzy, the giant mushroom colossus, inside the base, then, uh, yeah, cool. Um, this is one way to earn our royal favor. Holy crap. Uh-oh, Smarty and Angle ran out of food. They're starving. Well, the good news is they are about to arrive in the base, just in time for an eclipse, by the way. I'm gonna say that's a good omen. There we go, they have arrived. Okay, so go ahead and offload all your stuff and grab yourself some lunch. You guys have earned it. Long treks through the snow, uphill, both ways. It's amazing, really. A grizzly bear is hunting my gigantelope. Well, I definitely can't allow that. Um... Benkai, you're not gonna be able to do much. Smarty, I know you're currently starving. But if we don't save our Gigantilope, uh, Elendar, I am going to be extremely sad. So I need you to get back over here. And I need you to shoot that freaking bear. Sir Benkai has decided to slow down Elendar. Apparently we got milk. Elendar gave me milk? Oh, I guess Elendar is a female Gigantilope. I didn't realize we could milk it. There we go. Thank you. That's all I needed. We do have another quest expiring in 10 hours. The safeguarding aristocrats we looked at last time. We would have to keep um, the Baroness happy for a good long while, 16 days, and we would need a free bedroom that satisfies the title requirements of Baroness Kosos. We would need to have a royal bed. Well, no. Wait, yes? We would get a royal bed, sorry, but we would likely would need a royal bed. Um, I mean, if we install, let's say, a golden statue down over here in this area, and I were to actually build up things like a royal bed, which takes some gold, but I have that, we might, might be able to do this. Oh, gosh. All right. Let's, um, let, let, let's try this. Just because I think it would be fun. Oh, we don't actually have a free bedroom that satisfies the requirements. Oh, maybe we can't. Um, I mean, if, if Engel or Veerstein were able to finish this off quickly, we'd be fine. But Veerstein has food poisoning, so he's running really slowly. So if Engel can build this bed quickly and get us a free bedroom technically... Mmm, that takes a long time to build. That takes a very long time to build. I'm not sure we can do this. Maybe if I take um, this bed here temporarily and... Um, there's actually nobody set to this bedroom, so it's not that we don't have a f spare bedroom, it's that none of them satisfy requirements. Yeah, okay, so we're not gonna be able to do this quest. Uh, if I had prioritized this differently, then maybe we could've, but obviously we did not, so yeah. Oh well, it was a cool idea, but it's not gonna happen. I'm moving around a lot of our production facilities here to make some room, also bring in things like, I don't know, the fermenting barrels and stuff close to the brewery. Keep that all out of my uh, dining room and entertainment center just because it doesn't look really appropriate. And I'm building some of these tall shelves with the intention of being able to place, let's say, a bunch of different clothing materials next to the tailoring bench. Also being able to keep our hops and other things next to the brewing station, etc. Anything that helps us become a little bit more efficient. We just finished up with another one of those beautiful bone monstrous fish headed sculptures, which we can go ahead and install right over here. So we have a very intimidating altar now. I like that. Let's um, also consider, let's say, uh, improving the base a little bit and beautifying it, since we have some extra stone blocks and not a whole lot more that we need to do. I'm going to place down, let's say, um, do we want to do fine or regular tiles? Let's try doing some fine limestone tiles in a bunch of the bedrooms and stuff. Oh, that takes more than I can afford. All right, for now, let's do regular tiles in a lot of the bedrooms and stuff and just try to make this place a little bit more attractive to get a bit more of a mood bonus. I just noticed we can make steel armor of the Valiant. Additional benefits to trained mages and fighters, energy class uh, cost reduction, and some class XP gain. Interesting. Um, we could totally equip Smarty in a bunch of special armor and stuff. Uh, it's not the absolute best. It's okay in terms of some armor value. 
Very bad for insulation, though, so you really only want to wear this if you are going to be, um... If you are going to be going into a fight. Uh, alternatively, we also have access to the Helm of the Valiant, which looks kind of cool. Again, same sort of deal here. And terrible insulation. Pretty okay armor value. Mostly, it's worth a surprising amount. So if we wanted to make a bunch of steel armor, we could probably sell that for a ton of money. Huh, I just got to pop up for a lone survivor, wander onto the map. Apparently, immediately died. <laughs> Sorry, Franklin. Um, amazingly, you actually weren't a terrible character. You were kind of what I wanted. Um, but it looks like it looks like we're not going to be able to recruit you. Man, plant skill and some pretty decent medical and enchanter and kinds. This was a great character. Why'd you have to wander onto the map and then immediately die? On the other hand, three sheep just joined. You know, that's actually not the worst thing in the world. Sheep aren't amazing, but it can be helpful as they do produce wool. And wool is a very, very good material for insulation against the cold. Maybe not as good as, like, legit muffalo wool from proper uh, domesticated muffalo, but I can deal with this. The problem is I've now got a lot of animals. Like, a lot of animals. Uh, we may want to consider building a barn or something at some point. Some place for them all to stay nice and safe and warm. Ooh, a bulk goods trader. This is an opportunity for me to load up on some other valuable resources like plasteel, etc. We actually could sell off some of our um, golden statues and stuff if we wanted to. Um, you also have another Orb of Souls. Which is intriguing. Um, maybe we do want to buy this. I mean, I'm not going to get an absolute ton of silver out of this arrangement. I am going to buy myself a Masterwork Helmet. That's fine. Get rid of some of these sculptures, because why not? You got plenty of silver. Uh, I'll hold on to one of these just in case, though. Everything else here looks more or less okay. Unless I really want to build upon, uh, get some building materials. I am getting all of their components and advanced components. So at least have a few more of these to work with. I apparently can't sell you chem fuel. But I think that's actually because our chem fuel is too far away from our orbital beacon. If I moved some chem fuel over, we might be able to sell some of this off as well. Let me just go ahead and load up on some more medicine. Since apparently I've used all of this up. I don't know how, but I did. Alright, so we get some silver out of the arrangement. We get ourselves a Masterwork Helmet. And we get another Orb of Souls. If we can just find someone with some really good traits, we can suck that soul right on out of them. And then transfer to somebody that I like. Smarty got an Inspired Creativity buff. Um, I'm going to have her try to work on the uh, Steel Royal Bed. I'm going to continue trying to build this. If we can get a Royal Bed with really good mood buffs that ends up being Masterwork, I have to imagine that will be fantastic for whatever Royal couples we might have in the future. Veerstein, I need you to stop that. I guess we can let you get really close and then have Smarty go and finish it. Right? That's the thing we can do. It would save me a little bit of time, since uh, Veerstein is obviously the best at construction projects. Alright, go ahead and continue working on this a little bit longer. Just don't finish it, okay? We're gonna get close, but then we're gonna stop. I'm gonna let Smarty do this, and we're gonna see if this works. Because I would like for her to get the final inspiration. That's good enough. Let's not risk it. Alright, Smarty, get over here. Finish her up. Dunskies, and we get... An excellent Steel Royal Bed. Well, not exactly the masterwork I would have hoped for, but... I mean, it's something. It's certainly not bad, is it? Oh, goody. A Muffalo decided to self-tame. I mean, okay, sure, it's a female, which means it can get some milk. Is it blue milk? I don't know. And we can start getting some proper Muffalo wool, so yeah, I guess we should go ahead and take care of this Muffalo. I am now convinced we really need to get ourselves some sort of a barn. And I don't really want to build it up with the main base. I mean, we could, but... Blech. Blech, where the heck am I going to place it anyway? Nah. Let's go ahead and start building up like a nice limestone barn. Somewhere off in this direction, I guess, for now. Uh, maybe we build it down over here. Sure, we'll make use of some of the slate walls that we already have. That seems fine. We'll go ahead and build it like this. There we go. This is going to be my new barn area. And we have a raid. Something otherworldly. More Shogoth, which we can barely see. They are mysterious in their ways. Um, so these guys are dangerous. Uh, they are heading right for me, and it looks to me like they may be going in a direction I don't want. I think they may be going for this. Hard to tell for sure, but if they're attacking a wall, then I feel like they're probably not going through my kill box. Uh, Zelotus, I need you to get up over here, and let's hold open the door for a second. Because this is something we should be doing if we want to make use of the kill box in the future. Um, moving, melee attacking, melee attacking, blah blah blah, okay. Uh, we have to deal with this immediately, obviously. 
I'm gonna go ahead and flip the switch and let Zelidus go and flick. I think we take Smarty, Jenny, Veerstein, Cameron, and Angle and set you all up this a direction. Smarty, however, is gonna run off in this direction. Uh, did my Muffalo decide now was the time to pass out? That's a terrible place for sleeping. But okay, do we actually have a bad home zone? We have a bad home zone, that's why. The Muffalo decided it was worth sleeping right there. Okay, not what I wanted. Should wake right back up, though. So, um, we want to make sure that Smarty can pick some of them off and draw their attention and try to bring them into that kill box before they get to my walls. If at all possible. So you get over here. And are they coming after you now? Still melee attacking slate wall, slate wall, slate wall. Okay. Get close-ish. And... Is something else under attack? Because things just slowed down. I don't like it when the game slows down unexpectedly. It's usually bad. I don't see evidence that somebody else is under attack, though, so I'm hoping that's not the case. Zelda's get over here, of course. Smarty, are you not able to shoot them yet? Eh, they're getting close. There we go. Now you can take some shots. And this one's still going for walls that I don't want them to go for. Um, okay. Maybe one of my animals is under attack. I don't know, but I'm going to sign them all to the home zone for now. Everyone's restricted to the home zone, unless I'm telling you otherwise just to be safe. Smarty should be able to get a lot of attention here. Heck, we can even do some Grave Blades, probably like right along here and do some damage. There we go. Kind of like that. I don't like this one going off over here. Still, um, why don't you now start heading back? I think we can draw it into the kill box, all five of these, and we're going to have a sixth one that's going to be my wild card. And we're going to have to find a way to kill that sucker. Okay. Okay. Um, Sir Benkai, you're going to continue feeding animals, apparently. That's okay, fine. Sure, why not? They're very slow. That's the good news. So we should be able to do something about these guys. Um, let's just get in position. And let them come into the base. Or are you not going... Nope, they're going to go kill my muffalo. Gosh dang it. We just got this muffalo! It's too stupid to wake up and get in the base, either. It's very dead. Bye, Muffalo. We barely even had a chance to get to know you. <sighs> I guess we can take a few free shots. While they are busy. Maybe drop off some more Grave Blades or something, I guess. I don't know. The Muffalo is taking some hits. And to be fair, the Muffalo has a lot of hit points. Like, it's a pretty competent Muffalo. But yeah, Smarty, why don't you just get over here and see if you can do some damage to these guys. Pew, spikes, whee! Can we upgrade your, um, we actually have quite a few points I have not spent on you. We could upgrade things like the Grave Blade a little bit. Do a lot more damage and then get more health out of it? Sure, Fairyman. Uh, reduce stamina costs. Um, I guess I could reduce this a little bit. Staggering Spite. I do like the chance of stuns. I do like Clinging Darkness, and that will have to do for now. So let's just get some free damage in while the Muffalo just tanks the hits. Your death will not be in total vain! Alright, the Muffalo's down, but they have fallen from my trap and are now going into the kill box. Hello, other Muffalo. You didn't tame too, did you? You did not. Okay. Actually, my Muffalo's not dead. It's just downed. Hey, Sir Benkai, maybe we can actually rescue this Muffalo and save its life. How damaged are you? Not as much as I would have expected. And the important thing is, um, as long as you stay alive, even if you had no legs, you'll continue growing wool for me. So maybe that works. Give that a shot. All right, we can kill these Shogoth pretty quickly, I think. Um, we have plenty of damage with all of these uh, assault rifles plus some charge rifles. We should be able to beat the snot out of them. So if I can save this thing, we will absolutely do so. Did this Shogoth die? It did, actually. Smarty was able to kill this one out here. Well done, well done, I'm very impressed. Even better, it looks like the traps finished the last ones off, so that's a whole bunch of Shogoth dead with absolutely no problem at all. Love it. Now we're just going to clear these suckers out of the way. We're going to have to reset all of my traps. And try to prevent the horrors and stuff. Yeah. There we go. Okay, cool. That worked. And the Muffalo shall survive. Do you want to name the Muffalo? Does anyone want to be a Muffalo? I don't know. I don't even care. Uh, I, think, I think probably not, but... <laughs> It would be kind of fun to rename people to a muffalo. By the way, since we do have the simple prosthetic leg, I think now might be a good time to go ahead and get the leg installed onto Smarty. Get rid of that peg leg nonsense, right? 
So let's see, on your right leg is the peg leg, so let's install a prosthetic right leg. And it's not as good as the bionic legs and stuff that I would ultimately like to work toward, but at least it's a great improvement over a freaking peg leg. So I think we can do this. And we'll have angle prioritize. Actually, wait. Don't, don't do the whole herbal meds nonsense. Uh, in this case, Smarty, I think, deserves real meds. We don't want to risk messing this one up. All right, go grab that leg, and we'll go ahead and start putting her down and see what happens. Um, I'm noticing it's extremely cold out here, by the way. Minus 20 degrees Fahrenheit, or minus 30 Celsius, practically. So even with all these heaters in the base, we are still only able to keep it at about 18 degrees Fahrenheit, and it's getting colder and colder as time goes on. This is ridiculous. We may have to start double-walling my entire base, just to keep things relatively survivable out here. Either that, or we need a lot more heaters, which I have the power for. So we can do that. It's just, holy crap, really? Okay, Smarty, are you gonna get that leg? Yay, you got a simple prosthetic leg. That's 20% more moving efficiency for you. Hooray! Oh! Oh, I'm sorry. Oh no, I'm an idiot. No, oh God. <laughs> I know why it's cold. It's because I totally forgot to just go ahead and roof this area up with the freaking temperature vents. We've been ch chilling this entire building and letting all the heat escape over the, the geothermal power generator this whole time. No! I'm an idiot! Oh. Uh, well, <clears throat> we should see things are improving drastically pretty fast. Um, wow. Oh, God. That's embarrassing. I'm sorry. Deep water bridges are done. Okay. That's good. That's good. Um... I'm gonna go ahead and research how to do obelisks. Just cause, fun. And maybe we want to start decorating the base with a lot of ominous obelisks. I don't know. It could be exciting. I have, by the way, given Angle a Calcium Polymer Cult Chris. I don't know if he's smart enough to automatically bring this out next time we are gonna do a human sacrifice, but I'm hoping he does. And if that is the case, that should give us some extra bonuses toward a successful, uh, a successful human sacrifice. So we will try for that in the future, next time, uh, the next time that Lovecraft decides to give me some people, and we'll give that a go. A Galatross Wanderer, two of them actually, ooh. These guys are even more dangerous than the Thrombo. However, they do have extremely nice Galatross leather. We like these guys, incredibly good insulation across the board. Not to mention they're worth a lot. Yeah, we wouldn't kill these guys, but we will save that for the next episode. Thank you all very much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed. If so, then I would ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. <laughs>